bring the brutality. I got Edward Scissorhands, I got American Horror Story, Catwoman. They want to step in the ring with me. Like, it's absolutely insane. Will you please beat me up? <laughs> Why are you so amazing? How are you every bisexual dream? I love you all. We are here with... This is my brutality. Rhea Ripley! Yes! <laughs> hey, dude. Welcome to Chicago. Thank you. How was your travel and did you lose your luggage? I didn't lose my luggage this time, but thanks for rubbing that in. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> did, you, did you find the lost luggage before? No, I oh. didn't find anything, but this guy was trying to sell my title online and I don't really know what happened with that. WWE was supposed to follow up on it, but I guess we'll, I haven't been in the loop, but I haven't found any of my gear. None. And I had like pretty much all my gear in that bag. <laughs> oh my God. It was intense. So you had to do some time. wardrobe upgrade? Yeah, yeah, I got, a I got a few pairs of pants made and a couple tops and then I ended up finding like some stuff from NXT UK. So it's like really, really old, but like I got no choice, I gotta wear it. <laughs> so you teamed up with Liv Morgan, Liv for Brutality. <laughs> so how'd that team come about? It sort of just got thrown together, but Liv and I, like we've gotten along for a long time. Like we were in NXT together mm -hmm. and um, we've been on the same teams together before, just not the two of us. It's mostly like 5v5 sort of mm. matches. And we're just like, you know what, let's just give it a go. And I get along with her, she, get all, she gets along with me, mm. and not many people do, so it just works, you know? How did your formal partner, <laughs> Nikki, feel about that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't talked to her, but I can, I can sense that she would be fuming somewhere. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no, Nikki, no! Last year's WrestleMania, mm -hmm. you became the champion. Yes. Uh, tell us about that moment. Oh, insane. Absolute insanity. One of the greatest moments of my life. Like, I had the WrestleMania match against Charlotte in the Performance Center, which I thought was still pretty wild. It was my first mania. But then going out there and facing Asuka in front of the crowd, and it wasn't even a full stadium. Mm. But I also had New Year's Day with Ash Costello there. They played me out, and it was just like everything I could have asked for and more and it was just so amazing and it felt like everyone there was just so exhilarated and so like pumped for it because they had been missing out for so long as well so they were just super excited and loud but this year is going to be absolutely insane as mm. well. So how did you feel about being your first time as a Raw Women's Champion? What did you learn from it? What did you feel about it? <laughs> Um, I learned a lot about myself more than anything. Uh, the pressure that came with it and the stress that came with being a champion and trying to hold your own. Um, I learned a lot about myself and I think I grew a lot as a person as well. Mm. I still got a lot of growing to go, but you know, I'm fighting and I'm improving every single day mm. and next time I'm champion, I'm definitely gonna be a little bit more ready. So the WrestleMania before that, you lost yes. to Charlotte Flair. Yes. And you've talked about how you kind of lost your confidence. Yeah, so I was on like a hot streak for a, <laughs> for a hot minute actually. I was going out and I was succeeding in everything that I wanted to do and then I had that match with Charlotte and yes, it was fantastic and I still had like such a fantastic time, but it sort of reminded me that I got to keep working. Mm. Um, if I want to play with the big dogs, like I got to improve my craft and all of that sort of stuff. So it just sort of hit me like, like a truck, to be honest. Okay. But I ended up getting up, I shook it off and I started becoming myself again more and more every single time I went on TV, every single day. And I think I'm back to the good old Rhea Ripley. Yeah, <laughs> but you know what I loved about that match? Your gear, Dragon Ball. <laughs> yes. Are you a big Dragon Ball fan? Yes, I love Dragon Ball Z. I need to watch it again. I watched it in uh, high school and okay. I, I watched it instead of doing my work, which is probably not the best <laughs> thing to do. But um, I, I loved it. I love Vegeta. Vegeta oh. is my all time favorite. Are you a big anime fan? Um, I don't watch too much of it. It was just mm. pretty much Dragon Ball Z okay. and Dragon Ball. But um, I watched a bit of Naruto. Oh. Um, didn't mind that. I didn't finish it though. I, I got a little bit tired of reading the subtitles. <laughs> Speaking of your outfit, we gotta talk about your Illumination Chamber outfit. Cause people are like, that looks oh. like some American horror story outfit. <laughs> like <laughs> what yeah. was the inspiration behind that? Honestly, <laughs> just trying to be covered. <laughs> I was like, I, I wore my normal pants that I've worn before. Mm. 
and then I just got like um, a bodysuit made with long sleeves and I didn't think anything of it but then seeing like all the comparisons that the fans were making I was like damn okay maybe I was on something with this and I didn't even realize like I got Edward Scissorhands I got Pinhead I got American Horror Story I got Catwoman I got a million different things and I was like I mean, you guys can just keep giving me ideas for later on. Like, I'll, I'll make some gear inspired by those things. <laughs> Lita wrestled at the event. Yes. Similarities between Lita, mm-hmm. Bella Twins, Beth Phoenix. <laughs> they all want something from you. Yes. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's absolutely insane um, to think that I, I watched these women growing up and like I wanted to be in their shoes and I wanted to be there with them and now I am and they want to step in the ring with me like it's absolutely insane but it's so exciting at the same time like I'm really keen to see what the future holds because I would love to step in the ring with all Mm. of them like I think that they're amazing talents and they really did build the women's division Mm -hmm. so it would be my honor to step in the ring with them and have a good old wrestle around who do you want to go after first oh man it's it's really tough (laughs) it's really tough all of them are so incredible and I know I always put Beth Phoenix over um, just because she was one that I really gravitated towards as a kid because she was jacked and she was like she didn't really fit in with the other females at the time and I loved that about her because I also didn't fit in with the females at my school I was always broad shouldered and like I had muscle to me even though I didn't train I was just bigger I was a bigger human um so I just gravitated towards her more and I I would love to step in the ring with Beth so you talked about um getting Chicago pizza right after your war games victory tell us about that yeah so (laughs) I really wanted to try deep dish pizza um I had never had it before so after war games I got a deep dish and I was so beat up and so tired I had like one piece and then I was like I think I'm done (laughs) but it was really good and I really do want to try it again I might not try it this trip because mania season it's coming up gotta gotta look good guys but (laughs) maybe next time I'm in Chicago I'll get another slice (laughs) so Wrestlemania how are you getting ready for it oh well everyone knows how I get ready for things and that's by going to the gym Um, I'm there hours on end it's actually quite ridiculous at this moment Um, but I'm working I'm working out like a madman and just trying to get my body in the best physical shape that it can be for Wrestlemania because like I said I gotta pick people up and I gotta throw them around you are facing Zelina and Carmella for the tag championship tell me what three things that's better your team is than their team (laughs) oh man where do I start (laughs) where do I start first of all I feel like Liv and I get along a lot more so we're definitely on the same page compared to them. I'm stronger. I can pick them up like they're paperweights. Like honestly, they're, they're so light at this point. I don't even realize I'm holding them upside down anymore. And then I feel like Liv just has more fire. You know, she's ready to go. She wants to prove everyone exactly what she can do. And I think that's what makes her so different and makes her go out there and stand out and brings us victories. WWE just announced Hell in a Cell for Chicago, and Hell in a Cell just screams Rhea Ripley. (laughs) So who do you want to see inside that cell with you? Oh, that's a tough question. I think I would love to see, it's tough. I would love to be in there with Charlotte, Mm. um, just to get that big match that we've always wanted. But at the same time, like, I think Bianca. Um, I would love to be in there with Bianca and have that moment with her and we always have so much fun and just absolutely like brutalize each other in the ring so I think that would be perfect for us. Charlotte has that Smackdown championship and if you collect that Mm. you've got all of it. Yes I will be the first ever Grand Slam to also have the NXT UK Women's Championship. Right you're one and only. Yeah. When's that gonna happen? Hopefully soon mate. (laughs) Gotta do it before anyone else. So your fandom. (laughs) <laughs> um, I've been I've been asking questions from your fandom, but these are the type of questions I've been getting. Will you please beat me up? Why are you so amazing? Can I have your babies? Is she single? How are you every bisexual dream? I'm like, <laughs> very thirsty. <laughs> very thirsty. Um, I love reading my comment section. It's quite entertaining. I love you all. I do. Don't ever change. Keep being yourself. Keep being the thirsty little moshes that I know you are. I love every second of it. <laughs>